you must be my 9.30. You were right on time. I love punctuality. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have you down for a fitting, measuring, um, and then trying some things on. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna keep your measurements here. Got my tape measure. I'm gonna get a little bit personal. I need to get your neck, your arms, your wrists, um, a couple other little measurements. Okay, just a sit still. First, we're gonna go around your neck here. This is. Going to measure your torso if I don't lose my tape measure from here to here. It's about 20. Okay. Okay. I like to get both your arms, either side, please. Starting with this one, you measure just from right here at the neck and right down to where you want the cuff to be. Okay. And I like to get both arms. Most people are not symmetrical, and if we are making you a custom can you hold your arm out for me? Thank you. A custom fitted shirt. It better be custom, right? Mm, there's barely any difference, just like a centimeter or two. And I'm doing inches, so. Excellent. Okay. Um, I have. I brought a couple different colors to try on, different um, uh, styles as well. You said on the phone that you were a little indecisive about what you wanted exactly, so I tried to get a variety. Um, is this a shirt that's going like under a suit? Or are you wearing it plain with, uh, with pants? Okay, that kind of makes a difference. You have more choices when you do it that way. Um, I'm going to start with this and I got this mostly for this color and fabric. Okay, I know what a lot of people think about wearing pink, but first of all, color being uh, gender specific is a complete lie. Uh, because pink used to be a masculine color, or so I've heard on BuzzFeed or something. Um, this one, I really like the material of this, it's thicker and it has. Uh, uh, just a nice weight to it. Like it's not too heavy, but it feels substantial. So we're gonna try it. And we can do pocket or no pocket. You know, pockets don't make a lot of sense if you're wearing it under a suit. But all right. You give me your arm. Okay. Other arm in. There you go. Do some buttons for you. I always get a little confused when I do my own buttons versus somebody else's because I'm usually fitting men here and the buttons are reversed on men's versus women's clothing. Which is odd to me. It's not as though more women are left handed or right handed or vice versa, you know. Yeah. Feels nice, right? Yeah, it's a nice airy material, and I don't know if the wedding is going to be outdoors, but it's kind of a, not a nice time of year to be out. Okay. What do you think of that one? Do the. Mm. Like I said, formality makes a difference. 
uh, if you're wearing it with a suit, obviously you button, button your cuffs. If not, hmm, dealer's choice. Okay, let's see. I think pink looks good on you, but I know that for some people it's kind of... Okay, so you like the material, maybe not the color. Yeah. <laughs> It's hardly even a pink pink. Here, another arm. There you go. Um, how was the fit on that? How did that feel? It looked kind of loose in the... Like, it seemed like it should be a little more fitted here, and I don't think these were quite long enough. Yeah. Okay, so... Next I have, um, this is a starchier material. It feels stiffer, uh, it feels a little more formal, but it's not because it's this ridiculously great stripey pattern. Uh, patterns are in, in case you were wondering, even if you're doing it under a suit. I don't know. There we go. Okay, arm through. And another arm through. Excellent. What is this? Okay. Sorry, button. Um, you're going to want to do the collar button if you do a tie. Um, if not a tie, I mean, I don't. I know that maybe working in a tailor shop, you would assume that I have a lot of fashion knowledge, um, you'd be incorrect. Oh, the buttons on this one are a little bit of a pain. Okay, this one looks like it's fairly tight in the shoulders and way too short in the arms. But tell me what you think about it pattern-wise. This looks good with a simple tie. Um, color wise. So you really have no idea what it is that you're looking for. That's okay. That's why I brought a couple to try on. A couple of very different things. Sides not uh, <laughs> necessarily professional of me. Oh, see, I love the material on this one, and we do have this fabric in other color choices if it's something you want to go with. And since I'm making it from scratch for you. And we're just trying to get some ideas going. Okay. Now, as we are in the Northwest, the old plant flannel is a uh, staple. Um, doesn't look great under a suit, in my opinion, but for casual afterward, the flannel material is very soft, a little warmer, maybe not something you want to wear in the, in the heat. All right. This one does seem to be a little bit better of a fit for you, um, like size-wise. Shoulders aren't too tight. Let's get that up on your neck. I'm going to go ahead and leave the top button undone for this one because, um, I mean, it is the Northwest, you can do as you please, but a tie with a plaid flannel is, in my opinion. My lack of fashion knowledge might be your undoing. There we go. Okay. 
um, lift your arms. I should have been having you do that. Because this one fits really well. I want to see how it looks below. So you want to make sure that you have enough left over that it doesn't come out of your pants if you tuck. Uh, let me go ahead and do the buttons here. I really like the fit on this one. What do you think? Okay. Give me just a second. I'm going to measure you on right here. Mm. See, this one is not the same neck width. I have written down but it fits really well so uh, arm out please thank you okay other arm Waist, please. If you, yeah, you can lift your arms if you like. Okay. So flannel fit. I mean, I'm guessing you don't actually want to go with flannel. Right. This is something with a similar fit, but dressier. Um, I have two more shirts to try on you. Yeah. Um, just another pattern, and then I've got your classic white under a, a suit shirt. Arm? Okay. Um... I'm going to set this one aside, and um, we'll put it back on in a couple of minutes so I can do some pinning on it. Um, then I can make a pattern from it that will get the fit you want, probably. Okay, so here we just got a white shirt. Very basic. Probably a little heavier. Probably would want to dress your material. Arm through. Okay, do another. White is a classic way to go. Yeah, and then that's the color, the flannel one. The flannel color is not quite right for a dressier event. And I'll pin it uh, when we put it back on. Okay, how do you feel about classic white? Boring. Yeah. Arms up. This one fits pretty well, too. Last one is just another pattern to give you an idea of patterns. We got any kind of colors we want. Um, you name it. You can figure out what it is that you want. Another one. There we go. Okay. This is polka dot, obviously. It's a little feminine, but still, I think, looks good. Probably not in this dark of a color. If you want to poke it up, we've got it in several different colors. Okay. Arm through. Another arm through. Thank you. And this one actually fits really well, too. The material on this one is very nice, very soft. 
um, not as durable as the pink. I know you were kind of leaning towards that, but yes, we have probably about two or three dozen different buttons that you can choose from, and I will sew whatever kind you like on there. I've got metal and plastic and a couple bone ones. Lift your arms. I don't really like the fit on this one. Let me see how your wrists are. Okay. I'm just going to measure your wrists again really quick. There is an ideal tightness on there, but it should be about comfort too. So we can go a little looser if you like. Let's get that flannel one back on you and I'm gonna do some pinning on it so that I can work on a pattern. that doesn't fall off the hanger. Okay. to stand how you think you're going to be standing most of the evening, okay? Um, if you think you're going to be sitting a lot of the evening, which you probably will, um, we'll figure that out too, but just uh, comfortably, you know, stand, don't suck in your gut, unless you intend to do that the whole evening. Don't uh, slouch, don't, you know, just do your normal, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess if you slouch all the time, that's fine. Just feel like probably shouldn't do that at another person's wedding. You could do it at your own. Okay, let me grab my pins. Yeah, um, I'm also gonna do some chalk. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna start on the left over here. Your left, not mine. So it seems like the neck area, we want a collar that is a little more formal, a little more of a point coming to it. Okay, so we'll do the seam right there. Let me grab a pin. Oh, the flannel's hard to get the pins through. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pin it down like that. Okay. Uh, this needs to be a little tighter up in the neck area right here. Let me pin that. You want to get the seam the shoulder right at the top right in the middle of the shoulder and then the arm should attach this 
so that right here, tip, and then comfortably into your armpit. And on this, it's a little, it's a little tight. Um, pocket or no pocket? Okay. Okay. Um, arms up. Okay. Um, let me look at the armpit here. Just, I hope it doesn't tickle. Just gonna mark where I would like the. Yeah, it washes right out. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, other side. I grab my pins. So, same with this one. We want this more centered. two hands, you know? Sorry if it's all close to your face. Just to see you this life, there is a mouth as a pin holder. is a little would you like a slimmer fit or would you like a comfortable fit or I mean a slim comfortable somewhere in between okay we will bring this in just a little bit on both sides I need a couple of pins. See, I haven't stuck you once. There's nothing to be nervous about. Shoulders are... I think the neck looks good. Let's take a look at your wrists. Hmm? Yeah. My chalk. It'll take about one second. I have two before you. So give me about a week and a half. When's the wedding? 
film of yet. Uh, give me a week. You come back in. Um, I know that it's in two weeks, but you need to come try it on, and I need to uh, make some adjustments. Well, I might not need to. Have you thought about what fabric you'd be interested in? Um, yes, and I know I didn't show you a red, but we have, um, one second, we have like a, a brick red, and kind of like a Ferrari red, which I really strongly suggest against. It's too red, if you will, too Ferrari. <laughs> um, a cherry colored one, and then kind of more of a burnt orange in, in that particular fabric. Um, I can show you some swatches you know, uh, before you leave. I'm just marking it up, um, kind of preparing my fabric pieces. Yeah, we're almost done. One more pin right here. Oh, the flannel is so hard to pin. Okay. Alright. I'm going to take this off you very carefully because it's full of pins. Don't move, I got this. Okay, uh, arm. Arm out to the side. Careful, careful, careful. Kind of pull your arm back in, like, like suck it into yourself. There you go, you pass the pins. Okay, and suck your arm in gently. There we go. Okay. So, I'm just going to move you up. Give me a second here. The other one's uh, event isn't for another two months, and uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Don't worry about it. They're uh, they're not very fussy. <laughs> okay. Okay. I couldn't find the fabric squashes right now. Uh, one or the other. Seamstress just has them in her station, and I didn't want to bug her. But I do have um, some threads that's made from this exact same color. So here is this kind of Ferrari red one. Um, I strongly suggest against this one. I don't think it will match what you said is kind of going on. Um, we have more of a brickish red color, or orangey burnt. Um, this is more of a maroon. I didn't remember that we had this one. This one's very nice. It goes well with cooler colors. Um, and this one is, this one's a little pinker, and um, that one's the cherryish color. And then I also found this one, which I really, really love, and I think, I know that it leans a little on the pink side. However, I think it would look really good with your complexion. Yeah, no problem. Um, and we were gonna go with the with this fabric, right? Or this one. Okay, awesome. All right, yeah. Come see me Wednesday next week, and we'll be good to go. All right, have a good one.